Hello friends, welcome back. Day five. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of cleanup from day four. Uh, so nothing too exciting, but I really didn't like that in day four, we uh, had this type error that we that we could only detect if we were looking up the variable. So I want to remove this and I still want this to fail. So I want to get this test passing and then I think that'll be it for this, this uh, video. So hopefully not too hard. Um, so to get that to where actually in up here as well, I guess this one can go away and then this needs to go away. So something kind of like that. Yep. Uh, so we want to detect the error here when we're generating the, um, the set variable instruction, uh, not when we're doing the get variable or the push variable instruction. Uh, so to do that, I think in set var, we should print vars and tr try to look and see what we got here. Uh, this is a little bit hard to read. So uh, let's go over to instruction and do def inspect. And this just returns something a little bit shorter so that it's not so crazy. Uh, I guess it'd be name. Um, yeah, something like that. That's a little bit easier. So uh, back over in the compiler, when we are setting the variable more than once, we have these two dependencies. So set var and set var, uh, and we need to detect when those are different types. Um, we could do, uh, let's see, name. Let's get just those and then let's do type exclamation point. This is not actually what I want to do, but it kind of gives you an idea. Um, this is pretty close to what I want to do. Right here is the problem. So we already know the type, if we already know the types, in this case we do, uh, then we can go ahead and throw an error right now. Now, if for some reason, in the future, we don't know the types of those set vars. Like if it's a method call to a method and we don't know the type information yet, we want to keep going. We don't want to assume that there's an error. So I think I'm just going to cheat a little bit right now. I'm just going to do, um, this is a dependency and I'm not going to type it out this time. You saw how much trouble I had last time. Um, and I want to do depth.type exclamation point, but if there's an error, if there's a, type error, then I think I just want to return nil. Um, yeah, so let's say if um, if we don't yet know the type for this dependency, that's, that's fine because we might know it later. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to rescue that. And then these are unique types for this set var map. We're going to get the type. Then we're going to do dot compact to get rid of the nils and dot unique to get only the unique ones. And then we're going to print unique types. And there we go. So this is the one we want to error right here. Um, we'll say if unique types dot size greater than one, then raise type error, and this uh, we want to be a very specific message. So we'll just copy this from our failing test. Uh, and then I guess I need this to be double quotes. And this is going to be unique types dot inspect. Does that get that passing? Fantastic. Uh, cool. Well, like I said, very short. I feel a lot better about that. Now we can detect the error right when we're setting it. And that is so much better. So let's commit that. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, detect uh, type error when setting. Oh, wait, that's not how we do that. We're just going to do day five. We're just cheating. We're not actually doing real commit messages. Uh, cool. Well, that's it. I know that was super short, six minutes. But next video, we're going to do something really cool. So stick around. Uh, can't wait. Can't wait. See you then. Bye.